Only a few days until Hoopfest visitors arrive in Spokane for the big weekend, and local businesses are gearing up for that much welcome crowd. KXY 4's Katie Curry working for you with how the growth of downtown hopes to increase visitor spending, too. Katie? Meeting last year, Hoopfest visitors spent $39 million. Well, this year, many local businesses are hoping to even surpass that. 225,000 visitors come to Spokane every year for the largest three-on-three -three basketball tournament in the world. We're right in the middle of Hoopfest, so all the courts are right around the hotel. Uh, the main center court is just steps away from our front door. In addition to the Davenport Grand Hotel, visitors will see many new businesses in the downtown core. Last year alone brought just under a dozen new businesses to the area. Since January, we've been open there, so we've had a little bit of time to get our bearings before Hoopfest. Kate Hansen opened Common Crumb inside the new Saranac Commons earlier this year. She says they're preparing for the crowds as best they can. We're just kind of pioneering it together and seeing how it will go. Um, we'll definitely prepare for busyness. Kate also owns Sante downtown and says it's exciting to see all the growth in the last year. In 2008 is when we opened Sante and over the years businesses have come and gone on this block. It was a bit of a ghost town for a little while. Kate says she is anxious to see how the new hotel will play into things this year. She says in years past many of the crowds clear out by dinner time. She hopes the hotel will bring a steady flow of people through evening hours. I'm just looking forward to it as always and it's a really great thing that Spokane does. I'm super um, happy to be a part of it. Now, if you're looking to stay in the heart of downtown for Hoopfest, the Davenport Grand Hotel does have some rooms available still. Another advantage to the hotel is their parking garage. Their 900 space parking garage will be open to the public on Hoopfest weekend. Reporting live in downtown Spokane, Katie Curry, KXLY4 News.